Welcome back to FM Story. In the last episode, we began season nine of the save where we tried to end the dominance of Celtic and Rangers and things have gone pretty well so far. Uh, we are top of the table. Uh, we have got a plus 25 goal difference after eight games in the league and we've made it to the quarterfinal of the League Cup as well. So without further ado, let's get into the action. We've made it to the 1st of November and we've got the semi-final of the League Cup coming up against Celtic. Um, things have continued in a pretty decent vein of form since uh, the end of the last episode. We have unfortunately kind of hit a bit of a roadblock in the last couple of league games. We started with a really comfortable 7-0 victory away from home against Dundee United, just absolutely battered them. Um, and then we had Hibs in the quarter-final of the... League Cup, um, we scored a couple of goals close together in the first half, a couple of goals close together in the second half. We even managed to miss a penalty, um, but just too good for them and came away with a 4-0 victory to see us into the semi-final. We were then at home to Dunfermline and again another pretty comfortable victory, 4-1 that, that game. And then away to Milan in the Champions League, we were outstanding in the first half, 3-0 up at half-time. Not great in the second half, but we managed to hang on to a 3-2 victory. And then the last couple of league games, so we <laughs> went 1-0 up just before half-time against Hibs. They equalised just after the hour. We got a penalty and scored it in the 89th minute, and then they scored in injury time to level it up at 2-2. And then the most recent um, league game against Celtic, neither team really created any chances and it finished in a boring 0-0 draw. But now we turn to the League Cup semi-final and hopefully we can get a result there. So this is the side we've picked for the semi-final. We are missing a few key players. So um, Dimov's on the bench because he's not anywhere near fully fit. Matson's injured. Alan Kerr's injured. Danny Smith's injured. So the right sides of the pitch is a bit of a um, problem for us. We've got Finley McCarster playing right back. We've got Deli Basic playing off the right wing which he, he did pretty well and um, when Kerr was injured earlier on in the season so hopefully he can come back and play the same way as he did um, but fresh off a 0-0 a nil -nil draw that we had against them in the league hopefully we can put in a, a better performance here right a free kick to them on the edge of the area Luvumbo to step up and take it goes for goal and luckily it's not on target we certainly do look like we're struggling to create anything so far today. Although we are a bit more secure at the back as well, so I think it's probably swings and roundabouts, but um, certainly the 4-3-3 against the bigger clubs I think is the way to go. Right, so they had a throw in our half. We've gone back to the halfway line. We've won it back. Casanova, Deli Basic with some space to move into. He's got runners in the box as well, if you can find them. And yet, he just ran into the defender and they've been able to clear it. And now they're on the break. Driving into the box. And luckily that's not on target. And there we are, half-time nil-nil. Very, very little of anything in that game at all. They've had more chances, but we need to be much better in the second half. Right, so we made some changes at half-time to get some fresh legs on the pitch to see if we can break them down. Oh, Telly Basic looked like he'd been fouled there. They've got the ball back, though. Driven forwards. And in the end, that's a good stop by Zebra to turn it over. And we've got a head on that. They've got the ball and they've dragged that one wide. I think we need to maybe 
well, we need some fresh legs on it. We need to change things up a bit. We're not getting anything from this game as it stands. All right, we've kind of run out of wide play, so we've gone to the, the three strikers through the middle to see if that'll make a difference. I think Clemenko's the only player playing close to the midfield that can actually put a tackle in and make a make a tackle now, though. All right, King with the throw. Ibrahimovic basically ran over the ball. Deli Basic has committed a foul and he's been sent off. And now we are in all sorts of problems here. All right, Zebra with a goal kick goes long. They've won it though, and now they are flooding forward. They put it back to the edge of the box, and thankfully that was always just bending away from target. Zebra with another goal kick. This time we've got a flick on, but they've tidied it up at the back and they're coming forward again. We force them back to their keeper, but then it goes long and they've basically bypassed half of our team now. Right, Hidaroi intercepts back to Zebra. He then goes long. Castro wins a header. He's got it back again. On to Ibrahimovic. Crosses. It's up in the air. Castro arriving late. And somehow, very, very, very much against the runner play in the 94th minute, we've taken the lead. It's a great run from Castro to make sure he gets there. Ibrahimovic dinks it up. Miko might have got his head to it, but Castro just takes it down, prods it past the keeper. And now we've got a couple of minutes of injury time to survive. And there we have it, full time, 1-0 victors in the semi-final. And we've made it to yet another League Cup final. So we've now made it to the end of November. We've played three games since that semi-final victory over Celtic. And things, by and large, have gone remarkably well. The first game after the sort of game was Champions League game at home to Slavia Prague. Um, really comfortable 6-0 victory. And then the next game was home to Rangers. And we were, quite honestly, rubbish in the first half hour. We were 2-0 down after 32 minutes. We immediately made a substitution. Um, we took off Clemenko and brought on Kevin Meikle, went to the 4-2-4 and then we scored in the 32nd, the 35th, the 36th minute to go th in 3-2 up at half time. We ended up coming away with a 7-2 victory. Just truly outstanding bounce back there. And then we had an international break and we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, we have four players away at the African Cup of Nations and at least two of them are regular starters and in rather key positions. So we're missing Zebra in goal, he's away. We're missing Elise at centre-half, he's away. And then we're missing Kokora and Romeo in the centre of midfield. And um, we went to uh, Real Sociedad, well, we were at home to Real Sociedad in the Champions League and just didn't put in anywhere near a performance that we needed to. And... The big concern now is that unless some of those players go out with the African Cup of Nations very, very quickly, we're going to be missing them for the PSG game in the Champions League and probably the League Cup final as well. Um, so not a good situation to be in. Um, the squad's a bit depleted, but we just need to crack on with what we've got and things are going pretty well. So Champions League... Five games played, we're in 11th position, nine points from those five games. Um, as we said, we didn't have the best draws. We've got PSG up next. Really, the aim is just to make sure we finish into the top 24 and make it into the knockout stages, and then who knows what can happen from there. And then as far as the league's concerned, we are top. Um, we've got 29 points from 13 games. We've got two games in hand on Dundee United, who are in second, and Rangers, who are in third. Celtic have got two games in hand on us, but they're seven points behind. 
We have the three highest average ratings. Casanova and Meikle are the two top goal scorers in the league. So things are going pretty well from a league point of view. And from 13 games, we've got a goal difference of plus 40. And we've already scored over 50 goals in the league this season. So hopefully we can keep that going. Um, despite the in fact we might need to keep that going we might need to score four or five a game to win if we're going to be depleted at the back like we are with the players away for the African Cup of Nations but now we just need to focus on on league matters we've got Livingston up next and hopefully we can end the month on a high so this is the side we've gone into the game against Livingston with we've gone for the 4-2-4 We've got Ruiz de Galareta coming in instead of Elise at the back. Alan Kerr's back to fitness, so he's coming in off the right-hand side. And without Zebra, we're having to rely on Callum McKenna, who had a bit of a stinker against Real Sociedad. So hopefully we can perform a bit better in this game. All right, early corner. Kerr to take it. Swings it in. Passing over at the near post, and it just drifts wide of the far post. Right, Meikle coming in off the right-hand side into Casanova. Wide to Laterna. Rodriguez, Laterna into the box. What a strike. 1-0 up. And we've started this game pretty well. Meikle just drifts in. Casanova tries to find Laterna, who looks for Rodriguez. He would have had a shot. It was blocked. And coming in on his right foot, just slashes it into the far corner. Right, long throw into the box. We've still got it. Rodriguez back to Finn McAllister. Driving towards the edge of the box. Forces the keeper to turn it behind for a corner. And we're certainly keeping the pressure on here. Right, first time they seem to have got into our half. Or well, first time we've seen highlight of them in our half. But we've won it back. Casanova. Drifting up to the left. Plays it down the line to Laterna. He somehow gets a cross in. It eventually comes to Kerr. I think that was a lovely flick by Rodriguez and Kerr lashed it home on his left foot. And that's 2-0. So Casanova plays it down the line. Laterna somehow drifts it across. It's a lovely flick by Rodriguez. And there's Kerr just to smash it past the keeper. Right, free kick to the back post. Medina went up for it. It's headed clear. Laterna goes back to pick it up. Into Medina. Hidaroa. All right to Dimov in loads of space. Drives into the box. Pulls it back. There's Laterna. That's 3 0. And we are flying in this game. Demov in Aches space just drove into the box, goes past his man, pulls it back, and a simple finish there. And there we are, half time, really good performance so far, 3 0 up. Just need to not do anything stupid in the second half, make sure we come away with the three points and keep us in a strong position in the league. Right, Deli Bassage to the far post, header from Meikle. I mean, it's going to be hard for him to be offside given where the free kick was taken from. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get disallowed. I mean, the, the free kick was practically on the on the goal line. He is actually pretty close to it. It's pretty level. Uh, just beat the keeper at the near post there. Yeah, well onside. Keeper should be doing better there. Right, right, they've gone along with a goal kick. Patterson coming down the left-hand side for them. And they've still got it. Are they going to get a chance from this? We should have defended that much better. How that cross has come in, I don't know. But luckily the header was straight at McKenna, and that's the, the first sort of bit of business we've had to see him uh, do in this game. It's thankfully for him being a bit quieter than the Champions League game. Deli Basic into Castro. He was just dallied on the ball and lost it. And now they're breaking forward. Simpson goes from distance and just can't hit the target. Long goal kick straight to Dimov. He comes down the left hand side into Laterna, into Perez. 
in the box squares it. Shot was blocked from Castro and Deli Basic eventually was the one that got the shot away. And it's gone behind for a corner. And there we are, full time in the end, a pretty comfortable 4 0 victory. Um, hopefully, as many of the league games as we've got between now and the end of the African Cup of Nations can be as straightforward as that. There is some interesting stuff going on in the rest of the league, though. <coughs> Dundee United drawing with Celtic. Although Celtic have got games in hand on most teams, I mean, they're nine points behind us now. Uh, Rangers are seven points behind us, having played a game more. But Dundee United still up there in second position and with a minus two goal difference as well is, is rather interesting. Um, but hopefully we can just keep pushing on in the league. Um, we're scoring plenty of goals and uh, things are looking good so far. And there we are, the end of another episode and things are going really quite well this season. We're in a good position to qualify for the knockout stages of the Champions League. We're in yet another League Cup final, although we're playing a bit of our bogey team in that competition in Rangers, having lost two finals in recent seasons to them. But also, we're clear at the top of the table. We're scoring loads of goals and hopefully we can we can keep on going. Join us next time to see if we can get one over on Rangers in the League Cup final. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.